In this video, we'll talk about the batching node, which is available in the Pro license of Art Engine. To use the batch processing, you will both need a batch input and batch output node. You can only have one of each in any given project file. This node will go through a folder and process it through any graph created inside of Art Engine. For this example, I'll create a node graph that takes single images and generates tileable materials out of them. We'll keep it simple and use a mutation node at 2K output. This will make the image seamless. Then we'll use a material generation node to generate the other maps for our material. I'll leave the settings at default for now and ensure that we have all the channels generated. I'll then replace the initial texture with the batch input node. At the end of the chain, I'll attach this to a batch output node. Now I do have a folder of images that I want processed. So these are all just single images. So I'm just gonna point the input node to that folder and I'll go to the batch output and just put an output folder for processing. And just hit execute. The node will now go through the input folder and run through each of the images through the graph. Once it's completed, we can navigate to the output folder to view the results. All I'm doing here is bringing the process bitmaps back into Art Engine to see how the process went. To set up batching for materials, make sure that all your material bitmaps are sitting in their own folders with proper suffix naming conventions. I'll point the input node to the folder, but this time I'll switch over the input type to material, and you'll notice that automatically it detected four materials based on the folder structure. To keep things quick, I'll process these materials in a mutation node, this time at 1k output. Then attach it to the output node as before. We can then execute it and it will batch process the folder of materials. So batch processing single images versus material sets is a bit of a different workflow, but if you're looking to process large amounts of data, then the batching function will save you quite a bit of time.